Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to see the DTH11 module here. I got blue light and green light and red light. I put the cool drink there for a while. So that's why it's blue light is there. Now I am going to put the soldering iron. This one. And uh, I will fast forward the video. It will take long time. I got the green light. Now I am going to fast forward the video. So that we can get the red light. Yeah, we got the red light. Diagram for this is simple. For the LEDs, the longer pin connected to A1, A4, A7. Shorter pin of LED connected through 100 to 500 ohm resistor to G. For the sensor, plus connected to 3.3, .3, out connected to B9, minus connected to G. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. You can continue. Click system core. Click sys for the debug serial wire. Click RCC and the high speed clock crystal ceramic. Now we click clock configuration and uh, in this area type 72 and enter and click OK. Now we go back to pinout and configuration again. Click timers, click team 1, clock source, internal clock. Uh, Prescaler, set it to 71, 71. Now the pin, for the LED we need to make these four, three pins as output. 1, 4 and 7. And for the sensor, we need to make this one. PB9 as output. That's all the setting. We can click save. While the code is being generated, I have provided all the code in the description below. I have made a website. When we go there, this one, we go below. The diagram is here. The picture is here. Cube ID setting we already done. It's here. And the code start here user code begin zero we need to copy from here until user code end zero it's a bit of code here user code end zero we need to copy until here copy it we go to q by de we go to user code begin zero this one we paste it there we go back there again. In the user code begin 2, we need to put this line. Copy it. User code begin 2, it's here. We paste it there. And finally, in the while loop, we need to copy from, from the if until until the HAL delay 2000. We copy it and in the while loop is here. We paste it. That's all the code. What it does is it start the DTH11 and then it reads five times and it checks for the checksum and uh, this one has the temperature value and it convert to Celsius and uh, all those things. Now you check for the um, Celsius. Actually uh, the temperature one is this one. TCI. Yeah, this one. It checks for the temperature value according to that 
it switch on the LED. Now we can click save. Use the hammer button to build and see for any errors. Zero errors. Now we can click instead of the running button, we use the bug button, debug to this button to see the temperature value in the live expression. Click debugger. For the debug probe, open OCD. It will work with the original board, also with the clone boards. Click show generate option. Go below. Reset mode is software system reset. Click apply. Click OK. The live, live expression with the reading glass on it. We click it. And uh, here we put the value which is TCI. That's the temperature. We click copy it and we paste it there. And we will see the temperature in here. Uh, click the run button. This button. Now the temperature is 16 degrees. It's a bit cold here. Now it's all code is already uploaded. You can click stop. I have uploaded the code. It works like this. I have made another video with the OLED display. The temperature and humidity is here. It will be available here. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.